Respected Sri Ashpati, and I must say that every time, whenever we go to him, all the time he is supportive, and he is able to adjust all this his personal schedule and available for the industry. So thank you very much, sir. I welcome Andreas and the, the Tommy, the, both the keynote speakers today and they have travelled all the way and Riaz from Germany and Tommy from Finland for this particular programme. So warm welcome and thank for coming. <coughs> Friends from last uh, almost uh, two years and um, such a difficult time, we could not hold up this program and our this annual function and the award ceremony. And uh, the COVID impacted in many ways and also they impacted the same our annual function. And uh, I know that after suffering from uh, the COVID, this time at least we are meeting face to face and we are here for this uh, uh, annual session as well as the award ceremony. These two years have been a very turbulent year and uh, we have seen a very bad time in the COVID uh, wave 1, wave 2 but thereafter we saw a good time and a particularly good time for the paper industry and I would uh, think that the year 22-23 the fiscal year 22-23 is being an outlier year and uh, whether it is demand scenario, whether it is um, the price scenario, uh, those were helping industry, supporting industry. So whatever we lost in the first COVID year, to my mind we have recovered more than what we lost. But at the same time, when the 22-23 has been this or is likely to be a good year but time to come is going to be a very challenging time. A very uh, volatile period and uncertain period we are going to witness because we do not know what is going to happen day after and we need to be uh, mentally and uh, otherwise prepared for very uncertain period likely to come. Indian economy um, has demonstrated its own fundamentals and the resilience. I would say that uh, as has been talked by many agencies, whether it is the World Bank or uh, RBI or the Government of India or all other agencies and uh, only few days back in the Pravasi Bharti, the Honorable Prime Minister has said, this is the bright spot. And truly, uh, as the Indian economy is again uh, showing a different sign, whether it is the inflation, whether it is uh, the growth, is going to be a very attractive economy. And paper industry is not going to be exception to this. In fact, the paper industry also, the Indian paper industry is going to be the most attractive and uh, likely to grow at a healthy, healthy rate. But at the same time, when we, when we think that the Indian paper industry is going to be attractive, the same attraction will be there for other, other people also to participate in that attractive market. And that will fuel the competition, that will fuel some kind of uh, activities. So all of us, we need to tighten our belts and we need to be far more agile and, and uh, uh, competitive in different aspects so that we can take advantage of this attractiveness of the industry. Particularly the GST collection and also the only two days back, all of you must have seen 
the directive collection. These two are the parameters for the economic activities and the financial performance in the economy. And all these two parameters indicate that the situation has been good and also the financial performance has been good and that is why the collection is far superior than even the expected in the budget. To my mind, uh, these two trends are also helping government to, to spend more money. In fact, we see a lot of activities from the government investment and uh, this uh, investment will further fuel the demand of all the product categories in time to come. Uh, the industry has come a long way. Uh, as a paper industry, we have moved in a far more different manner and there is a paradigm shift in how the approach of the paper industry. But uh, in time to come, we need to do much more. Particularly two, three uh, areas where we need to do much more. Uh, we have tried our best on the plantation activity because the raw material security is going to be one area where we all need to be concerned uh, and unless we do the, the extensive plantation activities uh, as we suffered in the year 2013-14 the likely scenario is that we may again suffer if we don't indulge in the plantation activities the industry has been investing heavily some of the players have been investing heavily in the and the agriculture i mean the plantation activities and also the clonal r d but we need to do much more so that we have the the right kind of raw material at a right price and a competitive price this is one area where we need to do much more one area which is also impacting the industry is uh, what we call the waste paper but uh, i i think that we should change this nomenclature. In fact, a uh, few months back I met somebody and um, the word he used is the recovered fiber. Why should we have in our mind as a waste paper? It's not a waste. It's the fiber which we are recovering. So let's start calling that the recovered fiber. And how do we improve the collection system what kind of infrastructure and how do we, the industry participate and help so that we recover the fiber much more than what we do today. And uh, that will also be a very uh, positive thing for the industry because uh, more than 55% the fiber is the recovered fiber today. And uh, we can't ignore this area. So the industry will have to play a very effective role in the fiber recovery. On the various our uh, consumption parameters and other things, the industry has done a fantastic thing, I must say, whether it is the specific power consumption, water consumption, or other uh, environmental related uh, parameters. Uh, we have done fantastic thing, I must say that, and I must compliment all the our industry players for taking the steps where the water consumption is just one fourth what it used to be many years back. The energy consumption has come down by close to 30%. So whether it is the PTA cycle or whether it is uh, NMWE, I mean the paper industry has demonstrated a fantastic uh, improvement in the consumption parameters. And But we need to continuously do this. Because when we talk about uh, the attractiveness of the paper industry in India, when the market is attractive, it will attract many other players. And we need to question ourselves that are we truly competitive against those people? And we need to become far more competitive. In fact, a um, few days back when we were talking in our IPTA workshop, and the topic was uh, the global mindset for paper industry. And that time I was talking that the global mindset does not mean a global scale. Global mindset is for all other processes and the parameters and the way we work. That mindset we need to have. In fact, all our mindset has to be not just thinking for two years. 
when we talk about the global mindset means we start thinking for next 5 year and 10 year and 15 year that's the truly the mindset where we need to have the product of a right quality and we need to take the steps where we can compete with any of the global player as far as the product quality is concerned and also the cost is concerned basic one factor raw material cost is one which is coming in between for our competitiveness and that is why I said that we need to do much more plantation activity because if the raw material cost is more than $100, how can we compete with the player, those who are buying raw material at $60? So the $60 or $40 on a wood cost will become something around $150 at a paper cost and we cannot compete. And that is the reason that we need to do much more on the plantation activity so that uh, we, we, we have the right raw material at a right price. The challenge we have in front of us uh, is one which is, I mean we should not have a guilt in our mind that the paper is far more biodegradable, far more recyclable and it is so eco-friendly. And we need to talk much more on the image building of the industry and uh, I mean there are vested interests and there are many people, those who are creating this kind of image that the paper is, is uh, environment, I mean, <laughs> so how do we change this? This is also one area where we need to work. We did at the paper uh, association some activity but we need to do much more in this area. Uh, there are the true demand drivers for the, the paper industry, whether writing, printing, elsewhere it may not be growing, but the India, as all of us, we see that this segment is also growing and continuously will grow because the education sector, because our own, the the literacy level because our own practices the packaging is doing very well is uh, with the double digit growth it is growing and it is likely to grow so in all the paper industry is likely to grow and the, all the demand drivers in place only thing is that we need to be far more competitive and agile so that we can take full advantage um, it I, I feel uh, satisfied that um, almost for four years I was involved in the, the in my activities as a president and before that as a vice president and before that also. In this regard I must uh, admit it is only because of Harsh Patiji because he pushed me and he allowed me to spend time for, for the industry and uh, thank you very much sir. Not only this, any time I have gone to him, so the wisdom, the guidance and mentorship I got from him to contribute for the industry, so thank you very much sir. All the past presidents and the executive committee members, they have been so supportive because uh, few years back when I started uh, in the paper association, I was new to the industry. And uh, all the time, whether uh, the Environment Ministry or the DPIT or DPIT, all the time I was with the stalwarts of the industry. So thank you very much, Paparatan Sahib, Madhukar Ji, Saurabh Ji.